Mr. Revealing here. In today's reveal, we are at a very rustic saloon that has a really cool vibe, as well as a very unique and antique item parked right out front. Mr. Revealing! He reveals stuff. He's so revealing. This is where we stayed last night. Bull Moose Saloon. It's a hotel as well. I'm pretty sure we're in Wyoming. Um, been through so many states. And um, no internet connection. I really am not, not too sure. But I'm pretty sure Wyoming. And I know that because of the bank next door is the... First Bank of Wyoming. Pretty good in, but here's the hotel. Really cool hotel and uh, saloon. We got in really late, so right as we came in, this uh, the bar part was closing up. So we missed that, but it sounded like they were having a lot of fun in there. But the rooms, everything here is really neat. They, uh, it's all like all wood. Reminds me of, um, you know, reminds me of a Western. Inside looks like a cabin. All the, the wood inside, very clean, very nice. Uh, the the I guess the balcony parts, you know in front of the doors uh, That's just like just like regular old plywood um, Pretty neat pretty neat. So really nice, but the uh, bull moose. So but I came over here to check this out. I, I Don't know why they have an old fire truck, but they do Indianapolis, Indiana, that's where it comes from. So let's see if we could read the city. C-O-M-M Community. Community Fire Company in Indianapolis. So uh, I wonder if that's most likely who made it. That's a great name. C Seagrave in Fire Apparatus, I think. Maybe that's the company. I don't know. If you look on the side, trying to find the the city this was from, I, I can't make much of it. Inside, this is cool. It's like a convertible. The hat of it was that cut off? I don't know. It looks like uh, they put the firelight right there. I said no, it's missing the windshield, so obviously it wasn't meant to be a convertible. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the seat up here. What do they have a seat up here for? That has to be an add-on. I don't know. If anyone knows fire trucks, is this just something that was modified for maybe a parade or something? And someone could sit up here. Is this seat necessary to those hoses? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, you know, definitely older. Much older. And in pretty decent shape. Looks all original. The paint looks original. Uh, the the ladder on the side made out of wood. Uh, is that how these things originally were? Made out of wood for something this age? I don't know. You know, let me know. And is that, what the hell is that? <laughs> that spider? Yeah, this has got to be for promotional use. And here's the back. Still got a hose over here. Where the hose at? The hose at over here. Yeah, Wyoming. Jackson Hole sticker. Let's see if we see any uh, markings over here. So, oh, this is cool. Just dealing with all the pressure. No engine, water temperature. Is that the dash gauges on the side? I don't know. Maybe there's an engine to pump stuff out. Again, I'm totally clueless to this stuff. I still cannot make out where this was used. Yeah, they, just, they cut that top off, that roof. And Seagrave. Was that an actual truck company? Or was that a conversion company? Again, if you know, 
Let us know. Right down below. What's this? I don't know if that's, I would guess that's the horn, the siren. But like I said, I don't know these things. A really cool thing just to find sitting out here. Little fire truck bonus at the Bull Moose Saloon. In the area, I definitely recommend this place. Here's the inside of the uh, saloon part. Unfortunately, we got here too late to enjoy. This is really cool. And they have a liquor store. In the back looks like this is seating for the restaurant. This is really nice. I love this. Always been a uh, person who enjoys cabins, but this area is really cool. What do we got here? What do you think? Do you? What do you like? My favorite spots. Was it? Yeah. And this is cool. The sitting area here in the bar around the fireplace. So they have the fireplace raging. Just have here, sit here, have some drinks, friends. Then they got a little arcade area over here. Yeah, pool tables. And couple video games yeah shame we got here too late this would have been a lot of fun so here's something totally foreign to me and from where I'm about snowmobiles I don't think I've ever seen one up close this is pretty much really close to a jet ski. Put traction on the bottom. It's an old thing. Things burn up. They got a couple more over here. I don't know where I'm walking back here. Oh goodness. So I don't know. Do these work? And that's just how people store them? I don't know. Some better shape than others. Yeah, the one there is real nice looking. Well, nicer, that fox. So, maybe some people just leave them out and wait till snow time. Yeah, because that looks like a snow plow. Another totally foreign item to me. Mountains. Now here's the view we had outside of our front window. Really beautiful mountain view. Now here is Brianna inside the room as she's finishing packing up for us. But this is a little look of the room. Notice how everything in here is all wood. I mean the walls, the floor, the ceiling, the framing of the building. Very different than what uh, I am used to in Florida. Now this is the actual saloon over here. It's really, really big. And then uh, here's, here's a few more pictures when you go into the saloon. Uh, we have a big uh, moose head, um, which really gets your attention. It was really uh, neat. Like I said, it had a really uh, fun vibe to it. If you look at that, uh, that bra up there with the, uh, the feathers stuck to it or something. But um, just a bunch of little tchotchkes hanging up here and there. And um, just, a, just a fun, fun place to, to visit. So, uh, unfortunately, we were very short on time and um, got in right when the bar was closing. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support of the channel. If you haven't done so already, I invite you to please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. It is totally free to you. No charge. No surprises. Just subscribe. Click that notification bell. That way you get every reveal as soon as we post them. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you on the next reveal.